This How often funny. do you guys get... R- I don't want to say that word. Random st- stiffies. <laughs> What's up, dudes? Today is a special day because a year ago at this time, we posted our most viral YouTube video ever. And Was that a going, year ago today? It's like a year ago this month. I don't know if it was today exactly, <laughs> but we're going to remake that video. Today, we're, we're doing a part three. We've already made a part two to this video, so this is a part three to commemorate that video. How juicy can we get? Oh my gosh. And we're making three parts to this. Like, this has got to be yeah. juicy. You guys love these videos. We can't I don't know. get too juicy. My grandma's watching oh this video. Oh my gosh. Your grandma's watching this? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start making my ice cream. Oh, Y'all yes. know we always have ice cream when we do this. got ice cream back. I'm putting heat and <laughs> I'm putting Heath Bar and cashews on my ice cream. Oh, marshmallow cream. I didn't forget about that, so. Dude, you are wild today. <laughs> so, stop it. I'm gonna get some marshmallow. Whoa, this is like, whoa. This is really coming up. This will change the game of your ice cream. Smucker's marshmallow artificially flavored topping. Use code Big Belly to get 20% off. Who doesn't love a Big Belly? We're eating this at legit 5.32. It is dinner time. Yep, this is So this is our dinner. dinner. <gasps> For my ice cream, I'm going to be doing some crumbled Oreos, white chocolate chips, Marshmallow topping, yes, and some whipped topping. Yeah. Oh, check that out, you guys. That is beautiful. Dang, girl. And then here's mine. Let's catch up some questions. Ask me something juicy, babe. Ah, uh, I kind of like when I'm. At, it, wait. You I like, like answering them? I like answering them. I think it's fun to answer them. It's less question. It's less pressure for me. Lingerie or naked is <laughs> better. Ooh, it honestly. <laughs> Blushing. It, it honestly depends. Like I know what he's what gonna say. I know what he's gonna but say. But I feel like, for instance, let me give this analogy. So if you're watching a movie, if you just watch the last ten minutes of the movie, the movie's over and you watch <laughs> ten minutes of it. What about the first hour and fifty minutes of the two-hour movie that you could have enjoyed? Like the story is so important, right? Like I don't know. I feel like I feel like lingerie is like more fun because you just get to. It just makes it more enjoyable. You get the exposition. Yeah, you get the like, rising. Wait, wait. Action. What, What's the what's the the story? Yeah, the rising action, the climax. No, exposition, rising action, climax, resolution. That's it. I learned that in fifth grade language arts and I totally forgot that. I'm an elementary ed major, so I can help you out. Thank you. Was I chewing too loud? Yeah, kind of. Sorry about that. You guys focus on the skin issues, like stretch marks and all during. Oh, during. I think guys like really don't care so much about like the little things like that. And honestly, in some ways, I think that imperfections can really make a woman look even better because it's like, this is real, you know? I feel like for so long, especially in like the fashion industry, Photoshopping and touching up skin and stuff got like so crazy. And and people are like, no, like we like real. Like today, I'm so glad that marketing is changing to where it's like everything is just like so real and authentic. And I feel like most guys are like that. I think most guys might think it's hot if they're woman has some stretch marks or has some tiger stripes or whatever. Kind of like, like my back. Uh, yeah, like your back is so cute. Like it, my back it has really, like white patches on it. It really irks me and, and hurts me when Abby critiques the way that she looks and talks negatively about the way that she looks because like I value her so much and I just want her to look at her body with positivity and love. Love yourself for the way that you are because men really don't want some like picture perfect woman. They want like a real woman. That was really sweet. Love you. Can I say something? If you want a picture perfect, or you don't want a picture, wait, let me phrase that. If you want (laughs) Matt, I like a real, unedited, genuine woman. Also Matt, my celebrity crush is Kim K. What? That's more so a joke too. What does that mean? Also, can I say something? What? Matt has really cute stretch marks like on his hips and I think it's so cute. So it goes both ways. Like if you like it on a guy, then they'll probably like it on you. You know what I mean? Does it turn him off when you smell bad? Not intentionally. (laughs) Bad smells usually don't irk me, but like sometimes Abby will be like, hey, you wanna, and I'll be like, oh yeah. And then she's like about to shower and she's like, okay, I'll just like shower after. (laughs) 
And I'm like, dude, if you're going to shower, like, shower now, I would much rather make love after the shower. This like, is too much information. So you're basically saying that if you had the option between a yeah, shower and the op I don't care. Like, I really don't care. I mean, unless it's, like, rank. Like, if it's rank, rank, then we're... Then we're gonna have my a breath smells like Parmesan cheese. Okay, I also, yeah, I'm not a big, like, cheese guy. So if Abby's breath smells like butt cheese, I'll probably ask her to use some mouthwash or something. I don't think but that's never that, that's never happened before though. What if I smell like bo? We've definitely gone there with bo smells for sure. <gasps> I never smell like bo. We both have. We've one hundred percent both smelled awful. Clean shaven or hairy? I know last time I said like I like every way, but I think now I would honestly say. I mean, I I still stick to that, but I almost like I almost like a little bit of hair. <laughs> If any of you guys don't know, I got a laser hair removal. Full Brazilian. Really glad to hear that, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Went through a lot for that. My opinion on this, I know we're asking your husband this, but my opinion is whatever makes the woman feel good Confident. and sexy, Confidence. then that should be what you guys do. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, I finished my ice cream, by the way. Yeah, okay. What gets you in the mood that Abby oh. does? You've said this before for yourself, but I would say it also gets me in the mood. If we like get really dressed up, you wear a very nice dress and we go to a restaurant and have a nice dinner. One thing leads to another and baby. No. <laughs> oh, perfume for you. I love it when you wear perfume. Mm, I love it when you wear cologne. Like smells, like it's like, wow, like you, this is this is attractive. Yeah. I like that. Like that definitely is something. Smelling good? What's a big turn off? Talking with your mouth full? No. For me, I love femininity. So like if Abby's wearing like a, a very dainty, pretty dress, I love it when she puts her hair up and she looks great with her nails done. Very feminine things turn me on. So I would say probably very masculine things turn me off. I think one of your turn offs is definitely when I'm like sassy or like happy. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. I, thank you for bringing that up. If Abby is very sassy, that is a turn off actually. She's mean. That's a turn off too. But you never do that ever, right? No, I wouldn't. I would never do that. <laughs> okay. On a lighter note, is he a butt or boobs guy? Boobs all the way, baby. That is so messed up. Why is that messed up? Uh, it's not messed wouldn't up. Wouldn't that be a problem if I was a butt guy? <laughs> We're gonna go fight off camera. Did he ask your parents permission before he proposed? I did. What do you have to say about that? Um, I think it's a good thing. I mean, like, obviously times are changing. I don't think everyone does that anymore, but I do think that is a good thing to do. You definitely wanna be on the family's good side. I didn't really like have the Ask Abby's Father conversation. I, I really had an Ask Abby's Mother conversation. <laughs> we talked The for mother's like, the one you gotta get through. Yeah, we talked for like an hour, me and your mom. Like she was like <laughs> drilling me with questions and which, by the way, I love you, Lori. And your dad talked to me for like a minute. <laughs> he was like, okay, cool. <laughs> your mom was like, well, what about the wedding? And what about the cost of this? And how are you gonna pay for this? And like, yeah. did you know marriage is expensive? Which it can be, but um, for us it worked out and like worked while we were in college. And on I'm on a tangent, but yes, I think that's a good thing. Next question is a little personal. All right, what is it? Can you feel the IUD? Wow, we are getting personal. <laughs> yeah, we. I can sometimes, it depends. Wait. What do you mean? <laughs> I, didn't know that. I would say more often than not, I don't. If you have an IUD, I think you're supposed to check for that like every month or so, and I don't know if we do that. Why don't guys open up? Oh man, that's such a good First question. of all, do you think that's true? Do you think guys don't open up? I do think that's true. I think that women are much more open than guys are, and I want to say I've heard statistics before, like facts about how breakups are harder for guys because they don't like talk it through with their friends. Women typically will talk through those things with their girlfriends, get all their feelings out and vent. But then guys like hold all that in and internalize it and kind of go through it alone. That's a shame that guys don't open up. Maybe it's a pride thing. Do really you think have... it could have something to do with like from childhood, like the way their dad corrected their yeah, emotions? Yeah. I feel like a lot of times could... dads tell boys not to cry. But know, my So my dad happen. never told me that. Like I, as a guy though growing up, I remember like being in middle school and sometimes kids in middle school would cry and I'd be like, why are you crying? That's that's like a baby, don't cry. And I, I just feel like there's this general consensus as a guy that you have to be tough. Maybe because of that idea that you have to be tough and go through all this on your own, you internalize it. And I think holding it in is not a good good thing to do. Okay, do guys have a color preference for lingerie? Darks, bolds, 
patterns? Ooh, uh... <laughs> I'm not trying to rip you apart right now. I just don't know if you wear it enough for me to know what I prefer. What the heck? Rachie2022 asks, have you hit that like button? Oh, yes, definitely hit the like button. And while you're at it, hit subscribe and the bell for post notifications. 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. Isn't that crazy? Like what the heck? almost 80%. So what the hey, hit the like the button, hey? hit subscribe. My advice on how to finish a two year relationship without hurting him. Man, I don't know. We luckily never had to go through something like that, but I've also heard that with relationships like that, clean breaks make healing easier, I guess. Yeah, like, like a clean. Like you don't want to like break up, but then like still. That's a really hang good. Out I think that's really good advice. And being around each other a lot, because I think it's just like so hard. I what think about still help. texting? I just don't think that's a good idea. Not spending time together, not texting. But again, there's people that break up and get back together, and we know people that have done that and have gotten married and are super happy. So that's the funny stuff about all this advice because there's people, there's people that <laughs> are do the every exception all the time. Yeah, there's people that do the right thing every time and then it doesn't work out. And there's also people that do all the wrong things and it works out. Yeah, that's true. What do you guys really think about periods? I, I just don't think periods are gross. I think they're completely normal. I think they're beautiful. <laughs> I think there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you don't get your period anymore because you have an IUD, but when you did, like it wasn't, honestly, I thought it was cool. Like it wasn't a weird thing. If a guy, guy is disrespectful about your period, I mean, maybe that guy isn't the one for you. I thought it was so cool. One time I had to go buy tampons for Abby. <laughs> I walked that was four the, years ago. Four years ago. I walked up to the checkout counter and I have this like box of tampons and I'm like, hello, like, Giving over the car and I'm just like smiling. Like, it was like my first time ever buying feminine products. I don't products. think anyone was thinking they were yours. So. Oh no, but it was cool. I can understand where guys would maybe be like think it's gross because it's so different from like what they experience. But mm -hmm. if they make you feel like you're gross because you get one, that is just bizarre. Why do boys ask for nudes so much? Oh man, um, I wish that weren't the case. It's especially sad when like guys just message girls asking for those when there's no relationship they're just like literally just trying to take and i just think that's that's really sad guys tend to be more visual girls like what they hear so guys tell lies guys don't say that that's a horrible this is a horrible saying we've we've, saying. we've been over this this is a horrible saying guys like what they see so women wear makeup girls like what they hear so guys tell lies. Did I say that right? Yeah, but don't- That's a horrible saying, but like- We don't want more of that. Yeah, we don't We don't want that, but because guys can be so visual, I think that's why guys will ask for those. And I think it's funny because some guys think, oh, if I send a picture, this girl will like be so attracted to me. And girls are like, what the crap? <laughs> like, don't do that. And sending pictures, man, like, you don't know whose hands that could end up in. From a girl, like, if a boy's asking for that, he can go. Your body's more valuable than that. Da, 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 da. It's the one and only Digo double G. So just be sending around casually. That's my opinion. How do you keep intimacy alive? How do we or keep- Or is it dead? Oh no, it's not <laughs> dead. Intimacy can mean a lot of things. I don't know, Abby. Uh, <laughs> what would you say What would you say about this? How have we kept it alive? This is asking my husband juicy <laughs> questions. Don't turn this on me. Um, the other day I was doing the dishes and Abby was like, there has been nothing hotter that I've ever seen in my life. Actually, you used sexy. I'm sorry. You <laughs> actually used the word sexy. Than me doing dishes. That was that a way that I- That makes us really sound like a married couple, an old married couple. Playing Monopoly Deal. That's like our favorite <laughs> card game. We have great conversations over it. Playing games in general and walks. Yeah, I love going really on walks help. with Abby. We need to do that more. Oh, they're the best. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, we went paddle boarding together the other day yes. on a river. It was very sweet. I think basically to generalize what you're saying, you can tell me if this is right or wrong. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That um, you can keep intimacy alive in a relationship by just like continuing to pursue the other person. And that can look like a lot of things. It can especially look like taking interest in what they're interested in, doing something that is meaningful to the other person, mm -hmm. and also just having quality time together. Oh, for sure. Okay, I actually really want to know this. Why do you guys put the whole container in the fridge instead of in a Tupperware bowl? Oh, so like if we're making rice and it's in a pot, yeah. I just put the pot in the fridge? Yeah, sometimes you don't even put the lid you're on it. You're dirtying, you're dirtying two dishes. If you put rice from a oh. pot into a Tupperware container, that's two dishes you have to clean. It's called utility people and you're saving water in the earth. 
Okay. Are guys nervous for their wife's body changes after having babies? I mean, I can't speak for all guys. I would say I'm not. I think that body changes are pretty pretty dope, honestly. <laughs> I know when women get pregnant, like hips widen, and I think Abby's gonna look super cute with wider hips, and I think you're gonna look really cute with all the body changes that happen. And I think Abby's gonna be super freaking hot as a mom, honestly. <laughs> She's gonna be such a hot mom. Thanks, babe. Do guys check out other girls even if they have a girlfriend? <laughs> Or a wife. Oh my gosh, you're telling me you never like pay attention to other, like the way other guys look? I pay attention, I guess, but I don't check them out. I guess like your, your definition of check out. I feel like checking someone out is like, oh, like would they be a suitable partner for me? No, it's not like that. It's just like, wow, they are very attractive. Yeah, guys definitely do. Wow, we're gonna you're go fight that, off camera. You're telling me that girls. <laughs> you're telling me that girls don't do that. I'm kidding. I'm sure girls do it too. You've you've never done that before. Never. never that I would life. never do that. Okay, if y'all waited till marriage, what was the wedding night like? Awkward, passionate. It really wasn't awkward. No, it wasn't awkward. It was for, new. Dude, we had been together for so long. We were just so. I can we, understand. We where, knew each other so well. Like it wasn't awkward because we just knew each other so well. Yes, but I can. I'm gonna say I can understand where even if you know people, someone so well, where it could be kind of. I could understand where it'd be still be kind of yeah. awkward. Like, yeah. Ours just wasn't. Do you feel like guys need time away from girls sometimes? If you're being mean and sassy, then yes. Ah! How to get through hard times as a couple? Play card games. Yeah. That does help. Games, now people think that we're fighting fun. every yeah. time that we play games. They're like, well, what was the fight about this time? And I'm on, like, oh, On we Instagram, actually which if you guys aren't following us on Instagram, do that right now. On Instagram, we'll post on our stories us playing cards and people are like, oh my gosh, they're fighting. We're not fighting. Does height matter? Does height matter? I don't think it does. I thought I was into tall girls and Abby's a short girl and I am very, very attracted to Abby. When we started dating, I was a little like taken back because... I always expected myself to like taller girls and actually I crushed on taller girls all growing up. I absolutely love that Abby is petite. I think she's so cute, she's little. So many people are asking how often. How often we do the deed? This person used the term hanky panky. Hanky panky. Hold up, we have a giveaway. Thank you guys so, so much for 500K here on YouTube. To show our appreciation, we wanted to give one of you guys a Series 6 Apple Watch. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to us and turn on the bell for post notifications and follow us on Instagram so that we can contact you. And we have a special gift for all of you. Our merch is now 25% off and free shipping to all customers in the US. So definitely go check it out with the link in our description. Again, all profit 100% is going to Hawaiian language immersion schools to keep the Hawaiian language alive. We love you guys. Now back to the video. Thank you. I don't know. I would say probably in the first year of marriage, it was like, what did I say? Five or six, probably. And now I would probably say that it's four times a week? No way. More than that? Yeah, five. Six times a week was when we first got married, probably now five times a week. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Are we good on that? The consensus is in, shake hands, we're good. All right. Morning or at night? Oh man. I know what you're gonna say. I think the morning yeah. and at night, both. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I feel like the morning, and I've actually heard there's science to back that up. Apparently, you have higher testosterone levels in the morning than at night. I'm did pretty sure. Did you Google that? Fact check me on this. Did you Google that? Yes, I did. I Googled that like a month ago. Fact check me. Was it weird slash awkward to you when she. When she what? Pooped for the first time. Okay, that's disgusting. Why would you ask that question? No, I'm just you kidding. You selected Abby these kicked me out of the bathroom, you guys. I don't like that. I don't that. mind that's it. Messed up. I don't mind it. I feel like we're married. We've been married right for after you just said that you like the feminine things but like you fart in i don't fart me. you toot i know i know what you're gonna say there pooping like yeah you're you get used to it like everyone poops everyone i don't pees. like that you're in there everyone farts everyone happens. burps we're just so close that it really doesn't bug me this how often funny. do you guys get i don't want to say that word random st stiffies <laughs> Happens all the time. Actually, it's more so for like kids in puberty, I would say. It can still happen randomly, but I would say it's usually like, I don't know, say you're wearing a really cute outfit or you're just like looking super hot in a, in a dress that I like on you. Anytime you're changing, I'm just like, dang. Since okay, and the last two. Do you two, like sending naughty pictures? Oh. Didn't it say, do you like sexting? Ah!
Oh, you were censoring that. I guess okay. it's not just pictures, it's talk. Um, I think that can be really good for spouses to do that, but then you also gotta be really careful with doing that because you don't want those, you don't want those getting out. We don't really do that, I wouldn't say. I mean, we have. We're, to, we're together too much. We're together so much. I mean, I, I can just look over and there's a naked Abby, right? Like, I don't need to see. So say if I was in the military or say if I worked a job, like a really busy, busy job, I feel like we'd be doing way more of that. And I think that's totally a good thing for spouses to do that. Do so guys, guys like, like to cuddle? cuddle? Yes, but I think more times than not, guys are cuddling because they want more than to cuddle. <laughs> so then does that mean you actually even really like to cuddle? It's just like... Um, I, yeah, I think we like to cuddle. I like to cuddle. It's fun. There's literally a dolphin out there right now. I literally just saw a dolphin. Where? Or a shark. You guys are the best. We got very vulnerable. So please just like be aware of that in the comments. We like to keep it real with you guys. We're real people just like you. We don't claim to have all the right answers, but yeah, hopefully... Yeah, let's get that out there. Hopefully this video can help in some way and made it this far. Comment, Matt has the hottest wife in the world. Stop. We love uh, you guys. This is so embarrassing. And as always, three, two, one. Peace, Peace out, out, dudes. dudes.